Hey guys, uh, just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to make some custom themes because uh, I know some people are wondering. Uh, it's it's fairly easy. Uh, it's just about finding the white the right ratios for your uh, images. So as you can see, I made a, a quick Misfits theme, and now I'll show you the way I did that. So first thing you want to do is open up paint and you're going to want to resize your template so that it is a four to one ratio. So you're going to go to pixels and set it for, I like to set it at 2000 horizontal and 500 vertical. Um, that way you, uh, when you shrink it down, it'll go right to the size that you need and everything will be uh, the correct ratio. All right, so now that I've got it where I want it, go ahead and take your little paint bucket with the black and black out the background because every single one of them has to have a black background and you're gonna wanna make everything white in front of it. So I'll go ahead and make a quick, uh, a quick Misfits one for you. So I went and grabbed this symbol off of Google Images, um, just a basic, real basic black and white. So you're going to open up that into paint and then go ahead and cut out the piece that you want out of it, which right here we just want the symbol. Go ahead and cut that and then go back to your other paint with your template and then go ahead and paste it. Now it is going to skew it so you're going to need to resize that so that it is the height of the original template. So resize pixels. Now you want to maintain the aspect ratio so that it doesn't, you know, make it oblong or anything like that. So we're going to be focusing on vertical because that's how we need it to fit in there. So change the vertical to what we already have on the template, which is going to be 500 and then hit OK. And now it went ahead and shrunk it to exactly the size that we need in order to add it to the picture. Now go ahead and if you want to make more of a single symbol, you can right click, copy that, and then control V and it will paste another one. So I can put that on like this side over here so that it's matchy matchy. Now when we added the new image, it made it longer down here. So go ahead and grab the bottom, bring it back up to where it's right back at uh, 500 megapixels. So now we're still sitting at 2000 by 500. Now I wanted to add some words in there. So you go ahead and go to your text, change the color to white, and then go ahead and click an area and choose a size that's going to fit in there. Um, you got to kind of play around with it. I found for me that about 240 to 270 will work. So Let's just go ahead and put uh, Misfits in there. And see, we have plenty of room, so we can even make it bigger. So let's go up to uh, 260. And we can even make it bigger than that. Let's do 275. Oops. Sorry, the camera's shaky. I'm uh, doing this with my cell phone camera. All right, so... Now we got Misfits on there, so then go ahead and select it. Then you can drag it over to the middle, center it out, take your little paint can, go black again, clean that up, and uh, now we have a finished product. So what you're going to do is you want to resize the whole thing. So go back to resize, hit your pixels, and now we've got maintain aspect ratio since it's a 4 to 1. We're just going to go ahead and take this and put it to 128 pixels by 32. It automatically puts it in there. That's the size you need 
to fit it into eScribe correctly. Hit OK, and boom, it made it really, really small. But if you zoom in on it, there it is. Now, of course, it's going to be pixelated because it's really tiny, but it will it will end up looking real good on your uh, on your device. So then you just file, save as. Uh, you can do. They recommend that you do a monochrome bitmap, but I've just been doing JPEG to keep it a little bit smoother. And then you go ahead and save it. Um, we'll go ahead and slap it to the desktop. We'll leave it untitled. Save. And then when you go into eScribe, now you can go to. Let's go to this one. New coil. Yes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You just go to load. Go to where you saved it at, and boom, there it is right there. And it will come out looking uh, outstanding on your mod. So that's a tutorial. I don't know if anybody else has done it yet, but uh, hopefully this works out for you guys. This is what I found that works out best. Uh, I have done more detailed images, but they didn't really turn out that great. Um, I can show you guys real quick some of the ones that I've done and some of the ones that I just liked and took from other people. Um, so, got, uh, of course, the Misfits ones, but then you got a Batman, Dry Coil, uh, Hold to Change Temperature, I'm Locked Bitch, Metallica, Parental Advisory, Pantera, Twisted 420, Vape Life, etc., etc. Uh, a lot of good ones in there. Um, and you can really play around with it and have a lot of fun with it. So hope that helps guys. Take it easy.